the seventh question, what does it say? A straightforward one. Uh, it's from the laws of motion, categorically friction is involved. Now, based on what the question says, let's draw a figure here. So, this is the case. The coefficient of static friction between the wooden block of mass 0 0.5 kg and the vertical wall, so that's 0 0.2, magnitude of the horizontal force that should be applied so that this block you know there's a word given adhere that means it remains there it does not slip clearly the value of normal reaction will be equals to f the force which is pulling the block down that's mg and the friction is fs the static one but at the limiting condition, the friction occurring would be the limiting one, right? So straightforward, we can go mg is equal to mu s times n, and n is f. So that's the boundary condition. The downward force is equal to the limiting friction. So guys, when you do that, the value of f comes out to be 25. So that's the answer for that. The eighth question, let's see. Question number eight, now it's from principle of communication. This is another topic which is present only in JE main, not in JE advance. So got to be careful with that. The audio signal, you could see, uh, this is the message signal and or the modulating signal, that's what we say. This is the carrier signal. We got to calculate the percentage modulation so that comes from the modulation index, which is AM by AC. So that is 1 by 4. And if I convert it into percentage, that will be how much? 25%. Ninth question, let's see. Question number 9. Now that's from AC and the quality factor that has been asked. All right. So the value of inductance is given, the value of resistance is given, the frequency is given, and then we got to calculate the quality factor of this resonator. Now, quality factor is defined as omega L by R, XL by R, or XC by R, but at resonance. Now, that is very much important. Okay, so now, right here, you can easily calculate the value of omega that's there, which is 2 pi f, the value of L is there, the value of resistance is there. When you go for this calculation, the quality factor comes out to be 2000. So that was question number 9. Let's see question number 10. Question number 10, again, the next one from semiconductor, but this time the question is a bit incomplete in terms of the information that it had to give. So, you know, based on the answer provided by the JE main council, you know, we are giving you the interpretation that what could have been probably implied by the examiner. Now, what does it say? A common transistor radio set requires a 12 volt. So, here is the radio. Okay, so this is your radio set and it requires a 12 volt. Okay. Now, the DC source is constructed by using a transformer and a rectifier circuit. So here's the game. The transformer is there and then you have the rectifier, all right? So this is the rectifier and that eventually uh, by using a filter circuit, a 12 volt output DC is produced. Now one thing is not categorically said that what sort of rectifier is it because depending upon half wave full wave or the bridge you know there are different patterns of output voltage waveform so that part is missing all right and about the filter circuit even that thing has not been given so now based on the answer that has been given by the NTA council now what we'll do is say this has been given as 220 volt. Now even see if this thing is given in the examination when the information about this and this is not given. 
So one of the very natural approach is that we say, all right, so this one, the output voltage of the transformer, let us take it as 12 volt. And by doing so, our answer exactly coincides with that given by the NTA council, all right? So here is the case. And the secondary turns, the number of turns of the secondary, that has been given as 24. So I got to calculate the number of turns of the primary. So the arrangement is that a step-down transformer is used before the rectifier circuit. And after rectifier, there would, of course, be a filter. And then, eventually, that is being fed into the radio circuit, right? But the question simply talks about the number of uh, turns of primary. That's what it has asked. So now the entire thing is simply related to the property of transformer, where uh, NP by NS is equals to V primary by V secondary. Now let's go. NP, I need to find NS, that's 24. Now V primary, that's 220, and V secondary, that is 12. So now the value of NP comes out to be 440. That's the number of turns of primary. And whatever the explanation was required, all have been clearly specified before we discuss this question. So guys, with this, we end up the discussion of the solution of the question that had been placed on 24th February 2021, JEE Main. So I hope that this discussion was really, really useful for those students who have appeared right now. And I'm pretty confident for any future aspirant who is or who are, you know, accessing the archives, you would really, really find these topics and this discussion to be of immense importance and use to you, all right? So allow me to sign off. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.